Hello viewers, welcome to the academia. Today I will discuss some of the important uh, questions from lipids. So first question is what is cholesterol? So it is a derived lipid and an alcohol having empirical formula C27H46O. So the formula is C27 H46 O. So it is a derived lipid. Okay. It contains the cyclopentano perhydrophenanthrene nucleus. Okay, so this is very important that is cyclopentano parhydrophenanthrin nucleus it has. Okay, the best source of cholesterol is the egg yolk. So generally we found cholesterol, the best source is egg yolk. But in other uh, sources are also available. Now, uh, next uh, we move to another question. So, what is the normal level of cholesterol in blood? The answer is 140 to 230 mg per 100 ml. Okay. Now, what is the importance of cholesterol? So, we know that the cholesterol is the mother substance of uh, different uh, sterols of our body and it is very much essential for the cell. It increases the permeability of cells, then it transports fats to the liver in the form of cholesterol ester. So, it is very important, it increases, number one is, it increases... the cell permeability okay next it transports fat to the liver in form of cholesterol ester Okay. Next, number three point is it uh, is involved in the formation of bile acids. Okay, and as well as bile salts, then vitamin D, corticosteroid hormones, etc.
okay so these are the important uh, functions of cholesterol moving to the next important lipid so what are the essential fatty acids essential fatty acids are those which we have to take through the food and the examples are linoleic acid then linolenic acid and arachidonic acid okay now what are saturated fatty acids next question what are saturated fatty acids so uh, generally the fatty acids which uh, have no double bonds in their structure so their structure okay these are actually called saturated fatty acid now what are the example the examples are acetic acid propionic acid so for example stearic acid then lignocyric acid so these are some examples of the saturated fatty acids okay now what is lecithin so you know what is lecithin it is actually phosphatidylcholine so lecithin is phosphatidylcholine and it is the valuable agent for the emulsification of fats and uh, oils so lecithin very important for emulsification okay now what about sphingomyelin it is another important lipid what is okay so it is actually phospholipid consisting sphingosin now sphingosin means an amino alcohol having 18 carbon atoms okay so it is a phospholipid right and choline so sphingomyelin is consisting of sphingosin 
fatty acid, phosphoric acid and choline. So the whole composition is called sphingomyelin. Now sphingosine actually is amino alcohol having 18 carbon atoms. So it is an amino alcohol having 18 carbon atom. Moving to glycolipids. Now what are glycolipids? So glycolipids contain sphingosine, fatty acid and a carbohydrate moiety. Okay. So which contain And that's why it is called glycolipid. Now, uh, classification include cerebrocytes, gangliocytes. So, cerebrocytes are glycolipids and gangliocytes are also glycolipids. Cerebrocytes actually consist sphingosine, then uh, fatty acid galactose, Gangliocytes, sphingosine, higher fatty acid, one molecule of glucose or two molecules of galactose or three molecules of sialic acid or one molecule of an acetyl galactosamine. So, cerebrocytes and gangliocytes are the glycolipids. Moving to lipoproteins. What are lipoproteins? These are actually the combination of uh, two or more things, right? So, these are formed by triacylglycerol, which is 45%, phospholipids 35%, cholesterol and cholesterol ester. Okay. So, what are present in the lipoproteins? What are present? So, they are formed by triacylglycerol. Okay. Then phospholipids, which is FFA means free fatty acids, okay, which is uh, less than 5% and protein. That's why they are called lipoproteins. There are four groups of lipoproteins, okay. The groups are number one, chylomicrons. Number two, very low density lipoprotein that is called VLDL. Number three, low density lipoprotein that is LDL. And number four, high density lipoproteins that is HDL. So, all are lipoproteins and lipoproteins, uh, how these type of lipoproteins are separated? They are separated by immunoelectrophoresis, okay. 
and I think all of you are aware of these lipoproteins and they are very uh, important uh, in uh, some diseases the concentration of VLDL and LDL increased so the VLDL concentration and LDL concentration increase in some diseases which disease atherosclerosis and coronary thrombosis okay moving to next that is cardiolipin so what is this it is diphosphatidylglycerol so it is actually okay formed from phosphatidic acid present in the mitochondria so it is actually diphosphatidylglycerol and uh, how it forms it forms from phosphatidic acid present in mitochondria right so the importance of uh, the phospholipids so what are the importance of the phospholipids So basically the importance of phospholipids are they increase the rate of fatty acid oxidation they help in the transport of lipids from intestine they help in blood coagulation they act as prosthetic group in certain enzymes so variety of functions they perform they are the carriers of inorganic ions across the membrane they involved in uh, uh, lipotropic action they act as cofactors so different different functions they do so these are the importance different variety of functions they do actually like this the importance of lipoproteins are also they transport and deliver lipid to tissue they maintain structural integrity of the cell surface mitochondria microsomes the concentration of ldl is increased in severe diabetes mellitus atherosclerosis and uh, that's why these diseases occur the concentration of chylomicron vldl are increased in atherosclerosis coronary thrombosis etc so these uh, different lipids not only uh, these uh, um, phospholipids but also uh, lipoproteins as well are also important regarding the functioning so these are about some of the important short questions from lipids hope you people can understand and have the clear idea about variety of lipids present in our body if you have any query or question then comment in the comment box or for next video regarding this type of short questions stay with the academia thank you